my workshop actually uh, looking for a method how to memorize Arabic character Arabic letters from the Western reader I always wondering how the non-Arabic learning this language uh, the deep Arabic language in which way he can remember how to write again and again the same word I think it would be perfect if I remember from childhood that I I was writing Meleh salt and then I make this continue became a face this is the visual language of the word now recently I had an artwork in Riyadh Saudi Arabia uh, which I did it with uh, laser cut CNC then uh, I found after the machine uh, such leftover pieces uh, it was interesting for me to read the outside of the words like here the ein or here the ha ya so let me start to play with and find out or figure out another shape by combination between this and this or this and this the rotation makes the different totally different and create for non-stop maybe new images uh, my method actually uh, close to 10 gram but uh, uh, randomly uh, coming such relationship or you can select carefully what you want from the group of uh, pieces and then try to understand the proportion the distance maybe the obvious uh, relationship like here the horizontal line or like so uh, every time coming with a surprise but the most important here uh, you have to read it in your own experience of visual language yes this is I like I can keep it like this or make a photograph or scan uh, because I will go back to uh, redesign on it uh, here another story it's it's a fun uh, when you dive in such a process uh, uh, you can also discover your mind uh, how we can read different than the obvious because this is against order but this at the same time it is an order unconsciously uh, the main goal I think uh, of my workshop uh, is going back to childhood or being a child for a while and playing uh, without meaning I mean this is shape form uh, but uh, if you make it with an interpretation or with certain meaning I think you will be lost but keep 
working with childhood mind. Uh, here I will try with very little shapes. This is also challenging because the minimum or the less make the story softer and deeper. Uh, this try, whatever the definition of uh, this shape, but I feel happy. I'm happy with. Uh, in this case, I make it with outline on the border to fix everything as this position. Okay, this result could be a logo, could be an icon, could be uh, anything you prefer to be. This one. Here we can read clearly two letters. This is coincidence. Okay, I don't like coincidence. I want. I like to discover what is against my coincidence. Yeah, this is the spanet. I mean, where you go, you don't know, but you know exactly where to go. Maybe you take something minimal like this, very short, very uh, anonym, uh, very, uh, I don't know, it is not even Arabic. Huh? And this one also. If you put it together, it speaks something, but abstract. Yeah? So they don't have to form a letter? No. Not necessarily. Uh, the, the goal, as, as mm -hmm. I said, I would like to uh, fix this one as okay. So I make uh, uh, mapping or tracing to this one. And I receive this one. Why? This is, uh, in art, a shape. And could be an icon. It, it's, it depends on your knowledge with visual language and also your smack. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Your smack. Your yeah, smack. Can you try? Okay. A bit?
do is them. you want uh, how many? Let's say how many cups we want to make. It's better to uh, measure it. Okay. Yeah. So here I boiled water, but you don't have to boil it in this one. You can just boil it on. So let's count. Wahad. He has uh, something symmetric. <laughs> so this is Ba. This is Ba. Okay? The word. And also could be with a frame. Done. Just like obvious. I don't know how it works. This one. So this is ta. Okay? And could be this is the ya and ra. Mm. So the young...